Hello, today is August 6, 2012, better known as A86 Day, and uh, I wanted to shoot a little video showing all my 86 stuff. Actually, originally I wanted to film like a little documentary style thing, but I never got around to it. So I figured I might as well shoot a little thing of all my 86 stuff, show you what I got. So right now we're, we're in my living room area, and you can see it's a total disaster. But uh, I just wanted to show off some of the 8.6 stuff I got. I've got all my initial D here. Um, obviously, you know it's all about the 8.6. What else do I got? I got the initial D video game somewhere here. I cannot see it. Here it is. Initial D. Drifting. And all that jazz. I got Gran Turismo in there too somewhere. I got my... GT5 steering wheel here with the shifter and the whole kit and caboodle. Got my annoying cat down there. What else do I got in here? I got an 8.6 video playing on the TV. And what else? I'm trying to think what else I got just in the living room here. I cannot think. Oh, over here, shit. I got 8.6 stuff jammed everywhere. Under my broken radio, I've got this 8.6 magazine. I've literally got 8.6 stuff just laying everywhere. It's the, uh, I forget what this magazine's called, but it's all about the A86 Project Car. That's the magazine name. It's all about doing a swap for an A86, converting it to a GTS from an SR5. Uh, if we come down here just a little further, you can see I've got more shit. Please ignore the towels on the ground. Uh, I've got my steering rack just laying here on the ground. And I can't believe this is just sitting here. This mag this is really roughed up. This is the uh, the manual for working on an 8.6. More shit just lying around. What else? If we go over to the kitchen here. Let's just go down to the kitchen. Got more 8.6 stuff in here. Got my JDM corner lights. I just open the box, you can see. Can you go away? Come on, get out of here. Out of my, uh, it's for a kooky bumper, JDM bumper. I'm just sitting there waiting to be put on. I got the kooky brackets for an A86 right here. And I got the 20 volt valve cover here. So. But yeah, those are the uh, JDM brackets. They go for a lot, actually. Uh, this is how you know you're uh, at a car fan's place. He's got tools everywhere. Actually, half my tools are sitting in the coop right now, so they're not all here. But, uh, I mean, yeah, there's a garage kit there. Just got shit everywhere. All over the kitchen, all over everywhere. Like I said, please ignore the mess. Now we're going to my bedroom. You can see I've got all the Initial D manga. Let's turn on the light. All the Initial D manga here. Every issue that came out in North America, plus a bunch of, uh, Japanese ones. When I went to Japan with Lydia <clears throat> a couple years ago, I picked up a bunch of issues. So I got all the Japanese ones too. Unfortunately, I can't read them. Custom one piece drive shaft just sitting here in my bedroom. I can't really see it because it's kind of dark in here. Uh, now, if you ignore the mess, step over all this shit. Got some Koenig Rewinds just sitting here waiting for some tires. And under this mess here, if I could just get this shit out of the way. It's a friggin' uh... What is that, a uh, Kooky JDM bumper. Brand new, still in the, the wrapping and everything. Anyways, that's just the stuff that's in my house. I haven't even got to the stuff outside. Uh, oh yeah, here's my... Here's my, um... Uh, Scion badge from when I went to the VIP meet. Uh, I'm trying to think if I got anything else in here. Uh, you know what? We'll continue when I go outside. Okay, so we're outside now. And we're taking a look at the 8.6s I got here in the driveway. Uh, first here is Lydia's 8.6, which is a pink panda 8.6. Uh, we got this one about three or four years ago. Um, right after I got my original SR5. And we, uh, we did all the body work and cleaned her up and... It's quite the car. Actually, I think it's one of the uh, mintest 8.6s I've seen ever. Even better than mine, except for maybe the Beast. But like, the body is just impeccable. 
It's in such good shape. It's it's ridiculous, really. The rockers are like like factory mint. There's not a single issue anywhere. It's even got like the original mud flaps. We put supers on it and painted them black just for styling, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I've told her many times this car is probably the best 86 in Ontario easily. There's be there's cars with better motors, but I've never seen one in better condition. Uh, if we open real quick, uh, it's a little dirty actually today, but you can see the interior is mint. Absolutely mint. Everything is perfect. Even the liner, even the little light up there still works. And it's got really low kilometers on it. This car, it's just ridiculously good how nice this car is. Next over here is my, uh, my coupe. This is my track car. I just had her out at the track last week, actually. You can see my uh, chalkboard grid here where I kind of sketch some stuff. Uh, yeah, she's in actually pretty good shape too. This is the one I fixed up. It's got a 20 valve swap in it. Uh, I don't know if I should bother popping the hood or not, but in here, you can see here's my tires I melted at the track last week. Uh, can I get a look? Yeah, you, well, you can't really see too well, but they're really melted, really chewed up. But yeah, this is the car I fixed up that was heading for the scrap heap. And uh, well, I brought it back to life and now it's my track car. It's in really good shape too, actually. I think, well, I think the body's pretty clean and uh, I just love the green panda. It's so unique and different and really, I haven't seen anyone else do green. So that's why I like it. And finally, is the newest addition to the family right up here, which is my new 8.6, the Scion FRS or Toyota 8.6 or whatever you want to call it. This one, um, I'm sure people have already seen videos on the FRS, but this car is just incredible. Obviously you can see it's in good shape. Why wouldn't it be, right? I guess I'll pop the hood on this one. Where's the hood popper? Around. I love the satin white pearl. Here's that switch. It's gorgeous. Engine bay is just the cleanest thing ever. I've never seen an engine bay this clean, especially owning 8.6s. They're never clean, ever. Well, that's a kind of a lie, because Lydia's 8.6 is gorgeous. Anyways, that's really all. Now we're gonna head down to where I've got the beast stored, and then after that, maybe my SR5. That is all for now. Okay, now we're over at a undisclosed location where I actually have my my pride and joy of my 8.6s. What I call the beast, but it's a 20 valve swapped SR5 running uh, ITB, well, open stacks. And uh, done a lot of work to clean it up. It's in pretty good condition. Uh, almost no rust at all. There's a tiny, 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 little tiny bit of rust there. Actually, it's just bubbling, that's it. Um, it's in really good shape. Painted her like two years ago. Panda. And uh, yeah, this is definitely my favorite of my 8.6s. This is the one that my, uh, my kooky bumper and all that's gonna go on whenever I get around to installing it. Whenever I'm not lazy, I guess. Um, yeah, this is her. Red line taillights, Panda paint job. Uh, GTS seats swapped in. Uh, let's see if I can get inside the car. Okay, now we're inside the beast. Um, I put in my electrical cutoff switch because I install. I got that installed for uh, obviously fire hazard. Mm, back here, you probably can't tell, but it's actually running a Mega Square ECU. Plugs are down here. And uh, yeah, let's see if she'll start up for me. I haven't started in about three months, so. Might not start on the first go, but let's see. Where is that damn key? There we go. Oh, that's a heavy clutch. Not stock, that's for sure. Come on, girl. Start for me. Start. Almost. Nope. Come on. Nice. Yeah. Anyways, that's all there is really to see here. 
I mean, I guess I could pop the hood, but that's about it. Uh, it's really clean interior. Uh, even the sunroof stuff's still intact. Uh, I gotta put this panel back on. But I mean, most of this car is pretty solid. I um, wonder if the horn works. Or the headlights still work, yep. Everything still works. All right, we're gonna move on to the next part of my 86 collection. Okay, now we're down at my brother's place. I'm taking a look at my first 86. Got it stored away for now. I actually got it listed for sale right now. But if no one snatches it up soon, it's gonna be my winter car. Um, you can see it's in really good shape. The interior is all intact, nothing's torn out. The only thing wrong is a little slight tear back there in the interior. Everything's perfect, pretty much. It's automatic, it's an SR5. Um, but the body's in really good shape, aside from some obvious little rust there and whatnot. But this is the car that basically made me fall in love with the 86. Made me the uh, competent do it yourself mechanic I am now. Basically, I painted it panda, uh, did a head gasket on it, changed the exhaust on it, did suspension on it, changed the wheels on it, did everything there is to do on this thing. This is the one that taught me everything there is about cars, and it's true what they say about it. It sixes, it um, certainly teaches you to be a competent mechanic. Anyways, haven't started her probably in a long time. Cause it's been sitting down here since I got the SR5, or sorry, the FRS. But you can see it starts right up. This is the first start in like a month or two. It starts right up, idle's perfect. All pressure's perfect. This is a really good car. And I, I even uh, sort of regret having to sell it. But driveway space is an issue. But if no one's gonna snatch it up, it is going to be a good winter car, and maybe in the summer I'll uh, GTS swap it. But yeah, that's her. And I think that's really it for my uh, 86 day video. So uh, thanks for watching.